G'day Saints fans and welcome to the third edition of The Engine Room. A great result for the boys on the weekend, a terrific win. What we're going to look at today are the things that you wouldn't have been able to see from the TV watching at home. The boys work great without the football, particularly up forward. The boys work really hard to give their teammates plenty of space to give us plenty of scoring opportunities. Today, Danny Sexton will take you through a couple of those examples. Thanks, Joe. If we look at the first one, it's a centre square bounce. The Saints are kicking down this end. Let it roll. So you can see that the Saints players in question are the ones with the circles there. We've got Tom Curran and Tim Membry. And St Kilda win the ball out of the clearance. You can see here the pattern that Tom Curran is running. He's running up to get used. Once you can see that he can't get used, he has to double back, creating all that space up there. Not only does he double back, really selflessly, he's worked hard to get back. He puts a block on for Tim Membry. Without that block, Tim Membry's not going to get off his man and that space won't be available. So it was a good kick by the St Kilda player up the field, but you can see the squiggly line there that Tom Curran's been Tom Curran's work rate. He didn't touch the ball, but he had a massive influence on that play for St Kilda with the amount of ground that he covered, his ability to come back and block for Tim Membry, which helped him get off his opponent. The next clip is similar, but instead of um, blocking, the St Kilda players in question will cross over. It's a centre square bounce again. You can see that the Saints players are in red. Again, there's heaps of movement from the St Kilda players. The crossover, if you stop it there, the crossover from Bruce and Curran creates a confusion from the, um, from the Suns players. Who do they play on? And that confusion and that crossover gives Curran just enough split to get off his man. And it was a terrific um, kick from Jack Nunes over on the wing. But the really impressive part about the weekend were all the players were on the same page. They worked ter terrifically hard. They worked hard for each other, as Joey had said, and we were able to get the, um, get the result. So as you can see, we value more than just kicks, marks and handballs in the team. And it was the work off the ball, particularly from our forwards this week, that gave us the opportunity to win. I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of The Engine Room.